One hat encoding is a way of representing categorical values in a numerical way. How does it work? We create an array that has as many elements as the number of categories. To represent a category, we have an array that consists of zero everywhere except the element that corresponds to this category. In that location, the value is one. And why not just show them in numbers? Because numbers have an ordinal relationship between them, meaning three is greater than two and five is lower than eight. But categories do not necessarily have this relationship. If category three represents sweater and category five represents jeans, it does not mean that jeans are greater than sweaters. Machine learning models make sense of the data that is given to them based on mathematical equations. If we provide categories to a machine learning model in numbers, the model will assume the relationship between these numbers represent the relationship between the categories, and that will not be correct. And any other way to represent one hat encoding? Well, you can also use dummy variables. Dummy variables use an array of length n minus 1 instead of n when representing the categories, n being the number of categories. It uses an array that consists completely of zeros to represent one of the categories. For example, if cat is 0, 1 and dog is 1, 0, and the only other category out there is turtle, it can be represented as 0, 0. Once you prepare your data, you will need to split it into train, test, and validation datasets. Watch this video to find out why and how we separate our datasets into sub-datasets.